This is Changi Airport. If you are watching this video, that means that you are planning to come here soon. So, if you're coming to Singapore, you'll be coming through Changi Airport. Changi Airport is the primary airport in Singapore and one of the largest transportation hub in Southeast Asia. It has four terminals, so you'll be coming through one of these terminals. In this video, I will show you um, how to get from Changi Airport and all the different types of transportation options you have from getting to the city. So, join me. And please watch to the end of the video because at the end of the video, I will put in a money saving tip just for my viewers. Welcome to Singapore and welcome to Changi Airport. Changi Airport is the main airport in Singapore and one of the busiest transportation hub in Southeast Asia. Okay, Changi Airport consists out of four terminals. Terminal 1, Terminal 2, Terminal 3 and Terminal 4. And all the basic structure of the terminals are similar. Basically, on the highest floor, which is on the second floor, you have the departure hall. And then earlier, we were actually at the arrival hall, which is on the first floor. And normally on the arrival hall, you also have the uh, counters for the rental, for the uh, rental, renting cars. You also have the taxi stands. You also have the limousine hire. Okay. And then after, other than that, you, there's another structure, either basement one or basement two, where you actually head to other transportation options, which is like the buses public buses and or the uh, MRT which is the mass rapid transit and over here we are actually at the arrival hall and you can see the normal uh, car rental companies like Hertz and Avis and you can also buy your tourist SIM card because they, they also have counters where the local telecommunication companies actually uh, sell tourist SIM cards and they are also charging stations around because after a long flight, you know, you do need to charge your phone. Here are more car rental counters that you can actually go and rent a car from. Uh, this is a mode of transport you, that you can choose, but it's the most expensive. And it costs you around Singapore dollars, $140 per day before taxes and service charge. So if you want to, you can actually rent a car, but it's not pocket friendly. Alternatively, you can take the city shuttle service. Okay, so you can actually make a booking using this automated service here. And here are the prices. For a limousine service, which is actually a Mercedes, they cost you Singapore dollars, $55. If you want a larger limousine, which is a six-seater, they cost you $60 Singapore dollars. If you want to take the city shuttle bus, it'll cost you $9 for adults, $6 for kids. And there are also booking areas here in Terminal 1 and Terminal 3, okay, where you can make a booking. The bus service itself is every 15 minutes during peak hour 30 minutes are uh, during non-peak and it will take you to most uh, downtown hotels another popular option is to take a metered taxi okay so here's the taxi stand itself and here are the prices and these are the payment methods you can make payment with okay so basically what happens is you queue up here once you get to the front of the line, there will be a guy in a fluorescent vest. Okay, they will actually direct you to which taxi to take. So the taxi will be lining up outside there waiting for you. Okay, so the prices are, for example, for a regular taxi during peak hours to the city itself, it will cost you 30 to 35 Singapore dollars, non-peak 20 to 25. If you take a premium taxi during peak hours, it's 35 to 40 Singapore dollars, and non-peak 30 to 35. Okay. So like I said, this is the queue itself for the taxi stand itself. So you will ask me, how do I differentiate a regular to a premium taxi? Okay, you look out for the taxi color, not the advertisement itself, but the color of the taxi itself. You look out for blue, yellow, or red. These are the main, most of the regular taxis are these colors. 
or other colors like white, silver, those will most probably be premium. So if you want to save some money, I look for blue, red, and yellow. If you want to take the bus to the city, you have to come to either basement one or basement two of the terminal. Each of the terminals will have a bus uh, interchange like this. And to find out the bus number, where to line up, you look at the yellow signage there, they'll put the bus number there. Okay. Um, for buses, it's a bit more complicated. You need to know where to stop. Okay. And you must know whether the bus go to your direction. So you need to do some research on the internet to find out whether the bus go to your place, your hotel, and whether the bus comes here. Okay. Because the bus numbers here, the bus will go all around Singapore. And if you're going to Orchard Road, there's one bus num here, which is number 36, that will take you to Orchard Road. And you need to have exact change when you bought the bus. Either that, you or you have an EasyLink card, which is a prepaid card that you can use for public transportation. Here is the bus number 36 here. Okay, so basically you just queue up at the line there and then you get on the bus if the bus is going to your direction okay over here this is terminal 4 terminal 4 is slightly different because the bus itself is not in the complex it's actually slightly it's actually next to the complex so you need to go down to basement one and then walk under the tunnel here come up and then uh, turn right here and then walk down this corridor this uh, sheltered walkway and the bus stop is actually over here next up is actually the train to the city okay. uh, terminal 2 and terminal 3 by itself is actually connected to the MRT station which is called the mass rapid transit okay which is the Changi Airport uh, station okay so at terminal 2 and terminal 3 as you see there, there's a Changi Airport um, station where you can actually go down there to actually take is connected to the MRT station. So this is another way for you to get to the city. And to travel around the terminals itself, if you're in Terminal 1, okay, which is not connected to uh, Terminal 2 or Terminal 3, you can actually take the SkyTrain. The SkyTrain connects Terminal 1, Terminal 2 and Terminal 3 to each other. Okay. And each of these terminal itself will have a SkyTrain that you can actually take to uh, to move around. In the future, they're going to build in the middle there a place called the Jewel, where will where there will be walkways that will connect all three stations together. But at the moment, that place is still in construction, so you still need to use the SkyTrain first. So the SkyTrain itself, as you can see here, uh, is well used. I mean, everybody uses it to travel between terminals except for terminal 4 which is the newest station which you have to take a bus to go to that station and that bus uh, is only at terminal 2 arrival hall okay, which i will show you later and this service here is free and there's also another sky train that actually serves the people who, has, who have already passed through the departure hall uh, pass through immigration and are uh, inside the departure hall. Okay, here's the sky train itself. Directly in front of us is actually the entrance to the MRT station, and at one end here, you can see at terminal two, there's actually a the bus to terminal 4 so basically what you do is you just come here wait for the bus the bus will come just board the bus and they will bring you to terminal 4 we're actually now in the Changi airport MRT station so what happens is you from terminal 2 and terminal 3 you need to get down here and enter one of these trains over that direction is the direction to terminal 3 and over here is terminal 2 so you actually came down, you have to come down one of these escalators. Okay, this is a train itself. So if your hotel is actually located near an MRT station, it is very convenient for you to actually take the MRT to your hotel. Okay, but you may need to change your train at some stations. Okay, so basically it's just having to cross across the platform. 
one of the places you need to change is at this place here, Tanamera, MRT station. Finally, there's also a rival pickup. This is the place where people come to pick you up. Okay. If you notice at the door itself, there is a number. So this is, is important. You can actually tell the person where to pick you up at which door number. And now finally, for my secret tip of how to save some money. For example, okay, to eat, if for example, you want to take a taxi, there's actually a cheaper alternative uh, than actually taking a taxi from the taxi stand. What you can do is, you can actually download this app called Grab, G-R-A-B, from the App Store or from the Play Store. Okay. This app actually allows you to actually do uh, bookings uh, of, of private cars or taxis. And the price is actually cheaper. How much cheaper? At least one third cheaper. So what you do is, you actually um, download the app. After that, you turn on the app. Okay, you place your location, your pickup location, for the chart. So you need to know which terminal you're at at the moment. So you put in Changi Airport, which terminal, and then put arrival hall, which door, door one, two, or three. Okay, and then you wait at the door. The, ta the taxi or a private car will come to pick you up. This one. Uh, like I said, will save you at least one third as compared to taking a meter taxi. So it'll be one third cheaper. Anyway, so this is Grab, an app that you can actually download for your phone. Uh, Uber no longer works in Singapore. Uh, I heard that Lyft may be coming in, but uh, no, no news on whether it'll be cheaper than Grab at the moment. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this useful tip. I hope it saves you money. So instead of taking a meter taxi or hire a, a limousine from the airport itself, this is a much cheaper alternative. Unless you want to take the bus or the MRT. That one is much, much cheaper. So this is my video to tell you how to get from Changi Airport to the city. All the different, different transportation options that you can use. I hope this is useful for you, for your trip to Singapore. I hope you have a good time here. And I'll be doing more on how to get around in Singapore. All the different types of transportation available in Singapore itself that you can use. And how to get around. And if you go to my YouTube page, I also have a list of places you may be interested in visiting. And a whole lot of videos on Singapore food. If you're interested in Singapore hawker food, you should... Take a look at my videos. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to join me for my next adventure. Bye-bye.